Introduction to Hydroponics Episode 9 Vertical Farming What is vertical farming? Vertical farming is the practice of growing crops in vertically stacked layers. It usually includes controlled environment agriculture aimed at optimizing plant growth, as well as soilless cultivation techniques such as hydroponics, aquaponics, and aeroponics. Some common choices for structures used to house vertical farming systems include buildings, shipping containers, high tunnels, and abandoned mines. Through the use of controlled environmental agriculture, CEA technology, this modern concept uses indoor farming techniques. Human control of temperature, light, humidity and gas makes it possible to produce food and medicine indoors. In many respects, vertical farming is similar to a greenhouse, where metal reflectors and artificial lighting enhance natural light. How Vertical Farming Works There are four key areas to understand how vertical farming works. 1. Physical Layout 2. Lighting 3. Growing Medium and 4. Sustainability 1. Physical Layout The main goal of vertical farming is to produce more food per square meter. In order to achieve this goal, crops are stacked in a tower-like life structure for cultivation. 2. Lighting. The perfect combination of natural light and artificial light is used to maintain the perfect lighting level in the room. 3. Growing medium. In vertical agriculture, soil is not used, but hydroponic, aeroponic or aquaponic growth medium is used. Growstone or rock wool and similar non-soil media are very common. 4. Sustainability. Vertical farming methods use various sustainability features to offset the energy costs of farming. In fact, water consumption for vertical agriculture has been reduced by 95%. Advantages of Vertical Farming 1. Prepare for the future 2. Increase production throughout the year 3. Not affected by adverse weather conditions 4. Increased production of organic crops 1. Prepare for the future By 2050, it is estimated that about 80% of the world's population will live in urban areas and population growth will lead to increased demand for food. The effective use of vertical agriculture may have played an important role in meeting this challenge. 2. Increase production throughout the year. Vertical planting allows us to grow more crops on the same planting area. In fact, one square meter of indoor area is equivalent to at least four to six square meter of outdoor capacity. In addition, crop production can be carried out throughout the year in a controlled indoor environment, while the indoor environment is completely controlled by vertical farming technology. 3. Not affected by adverse weather conditions. Natural disasters such as heavy rains, cyclones, floods or severe droughts may adversely affect field crops. Events that are becoming more and more common due to global warming. Indoor vertical farms are less likely to be impacted by adverse weather, which allows greater certainty of the annual harvest. 4. Increased production of organic crops. Since crops are produced in a well-controlled indoor environment without the use of chemical pesticides, vertical planting allows us to grow pesticide-free and organic crops. Limitations of Vertical Farming 
1. No established economics, 2. Difficulty in pollination, 3. Labor costs, 4. Too much dependence on technology. 1. No established economics. The financial viability of this new farming method is still uncertain. The cost of building skyscrapers for agriculture, plus other costs such as lighting, heating, and labor, can easily exceed the benefits we get from the output of vertical agriculture. 2. Difficulty in pollination. Vertical farming is carried out in a controlled environment without insects. Therefore, the pollination process needs to be done manually, which will be labor-intensive and costly. 3. Labor costs. Due to the high energy costs of vertical agriculture, labor costs are concentrated in urban centers with higher wages, and more skilled labor is required, labor costs may even be higher. However, the automation of vertical farms may result in the need for fewer workers. 4. Too much dependence on technology. The development of better technologies can always increase efficiency and reduce costs. But the entire vertical farming is extremely dependent on various technologies for lighting, maintaining temperature, and humidity.